I can have a Gucci. I can have a Louis Vuitton, but even with nothing on, I bet I made you look. I made you look. Yo, guys, Coach Theo here on Common Sense. You know, they play the same terrible music in the gym I was training in in Greece, just at a lower volume. So I'm just so happy now to be back here in Sweden when they blast this shit, even at 6.30 a.m. when the gym opens and it's empty, except me. And then you have this crappy music on your mind all day. So stoked about it. Today, we're going to be talking about um, the nice and full dilemma for food addicts, right? Nice and full, nice and full. People from the snake diet, people that are aware uh, of the snake diet or found this channel through the snake diet will know what I'm talking about. I have some points I want to make. I'm not quite sure where to start. Yeah, you know what? Let's start here. I've gotten many times because I've not been doing it as much lately, but usually I will post on my Instagram story one meal that I eat per day and usually with the macros too, the calories, protein, fats, carbs, right? And very often I've gotten a reply from someone asking, does that make you full? Or how long does that keep you full? And I have to explain that I wasn't really super hungry when I started eating this and I wasn't necessarily like mm, full. I just, you know, I, it's time to eat and I'm done eating. That's basically it. And so many people have gotten into their head that the way to their weight loss is like, how, how do I manage to stay full from what I am eating? Of course, you take that into consideration. Somehow you're going to stay more full from eating whole foods and eating a bunch of junk, you know, the same calories even. Um, so it's, I'm not saying don't think about that at all. But generally, it's like, no, if your condition for you to lose your weight is that you feel perfectly comfortable, you don't have to like go against, like, I am a bit hungry, I'd like to eat more, but I can't. Um, you're not going to lose weight. Like, um, that's not the thing. Ma uh, the, the difference between the person that manages to lose the weight and the person that doesn't is not that the person that manages to lose the weight just found a way that made them feel as if they were eating as much as before and as energetic and comfortable, satiated from that. No, it's, it's, just, <laughs> it's just that they are putting up with not being entirely full, being a little hungry not being entirely comfortable, stopping just a bit before you'd like to intuitively, right? So I was thinking about this because I tried recently. Now we're talking about the snake diet nice and full. It doesn't really matter in the context of um, the points I'm going to make if we're talking someone losing weight with prolonged fasting or um, a daily deficit. Um, but so for me, I would usually use prolonged fasting, weekly 60 hour fast would be my go-to cutting routine, but I did it on a daily deficit with intermittent fasting only this time, three meals, eight hour eating window. And so when I started it, because I've been eating similarly for a while, but I'm just reducing the amount of food, right? Uh, funnily enough, this was the most difficult at the start of the cut, I'd say, and towards the end, I had gotten, and th th what made me this, uh, gave me this idea for this video, I had sort of gotten it down, so how I could appreciate this routine and stick to it more easily. And so I wanted to share that here. So, look, nice and full, the nice and full thing, you gotta understand, for a human that isn't in some kind of um, scarcity mode, because I can see a human being, and we're just talking less civilized times, going around not getting any food for a long time, and then when they get the chance, they act just binge until they're nice and full because they don't know the next time they're going to eat. But to me, what I've learned through reducing like all cravings and that via the lifestyle, but the fasting I've done these years, is that um, like, you, you, it's not supposed to be such a big deal, is the point. Your, uh, hunger, on a daily basis, if you have access to food, this is. I mean, you're not going through any prolonged starvation or anything. It, it shouldn't be such, a, it's not such a strong impulse. Even if you feel like, oh yeah, I'm a little bit hungry. It's not like, oh, I gotta eat, or, or else I can't do anything. Because you aren't that weak. It's like you don't, your, your car, it doesn't have to be at a full tank for you to drive it, right? Um, so the point is, you, you, when you are in your natural state and there's no scarcity with the food, it's not supposed to be such a big deal. You eat when it's time to eat, you stop when it's done. 
you're a little hungry when you start. You're a little full, you're like happy. But it's not that, that you're always like, oh, I need something, and you eat until you're like, Ugh. it's just not supposed to be that way. But so, when I go from eating the way I've done, when I'm pretty happy, and I reduce it, yeah, absolutely. I, I do feel like eating more, you know. Um, it, it just feels like I'm stopping before I'm done, right? I want to have more. And I have to kind of, you know, I've done this so many times. And for me, it's almost like a job when I go on a cut, you know. So I'm like, okay, I got to push through it. But so me, as a single guy that cooks most of his food himself, of course, if I sit and I go have a dinner with some people or something, I, I will do it a bit differently. But when I cook for me, it's very efficient, you know. I, I cook the meal, here it is. It's like boom, 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 boom. I'm done. I'm not taking time to appreciate the meal at all. It's, it's so functional, you know. Uh, and that might work okay. To be honest, I think I shouldn't do that uh, either way. But that might work okay when I'm not really cutting, you know, and just eating on some kind of maintenance or even bulking, you know. Um, but... Now we take you, you know, like you, you're uh, <laughs> you, the, the big food addict. You know, you're very overweight, you know. If you're someone that can like slam thousands of calories of junk in a short amount of time, of course, if you're now going to try and lose weight and you have your little 500 calorie meal here and you just poof, smash it down, you're going to not feel satisfied from that at all. Like um, it's like it's something missing. I only just started eating, right? And so... Not that I'm someone that binges on thousands of calories at a time. I, I, I refeed, like, that's a point later. But um, the, the thing is, you have, to, <laughs> you have to change what I did. So what I started doing kind of naturally was, you know, I take the food a bit more for granted when I'm not cutting, right? It's just, it's there. I, I got to eat. I like eating, but, you, you know, I don't have to worry uh, you know, if I can eat more, if I'm not actively trying to lose weight, if I want to eat more, I can, right? But now I'm eating less and I can't eat more because I'm supposed to be in a deficit and lose weight, right? So what I naturally started doing was like just make more of a ritual of the thing. It made it such, so much more satisfying, even though it didn't really make me more full from the food, you understand? So instead of like cooking something and preparing it and just standing basically by the kitchen sink and eating it uh, or something similar, you know, just doing it very fast and efficiently, I started, I was still in Greece when I was cutting, started preparing like my, my typical big meal, like the meat with some fruit, like two types of fruits, maybe a carrot, um, maybe some fermented vegetables, stuff like this. I started putting it nicely on plates, you know, and going outside on my balcony. And I would eat very mindfully, like one strawberry, one piece of meat, I did it. Like, and I enjoyed it so much. I enjoyed it so much doing it this way. And then now I wasn't comparing just like my glug, 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 glug. like, okay, I'm doing the same thing, but I'm eating way less and I feel like I'm not done. Now I was enjoying the entire thing I was doing. So you see, you gotta make more of a ritual, a ritual of your eating. Like if you are a food addict right now, your view of food is quite um, disgraceful, to be honest. It's just like a means for your pleasure. Mm, mm, mm. I feel so good from all this shit that I don't need. Just makes my dopamine spike, you know, it feels so good. But I'm, I'm just ruining myself. I'm just ruining myself w with this behavior, you know. You, you gotta change this now. You, you, because this is the thing with the food addiction, like the point I made in many videos, we, it's not just a drug that you don't really need. You will need to eat. So it's not only like, I, you, you have to swap or change your entire interface with food, it can't, it, because you can't just remove, it's not a cold turkey quit forever. Like with a fast, you quit for a little bit, but you're gonna have to eat, right? So you're gonna have to change your view of food since you can't just throw it out. Your view and how you behave with it, right? So a guy like myself that probably has a way higher metabolism uh, and calorie need than you, I almost never eat till I feel like, oh, I'm, I'm full. I'm so full, you know? like. I, I went to, sometimes I will do refeeds when it just, it's a good opportunity. Like last week, a friend of mine had his birthday and went to this Brazilian restaurant with a buffet when they keep coming out with nice meat and there's a buffet with like sweet potatoes, fruits and vegetables, all this good stuff. And then I take the opportunity, then I'm actually like, full. But it, it, it's a rare thing, 
right? Uh, and then also I'm so full I, I can skip breakfast the next day because I've loaded up already. And then of course most bingers don't. A lot of people, oh, I just binge and then I start my thing tomorrow again. Then, then you don't and you just binged. You just went way over. Didn't correct it. But that, that's really my main point in this video. I really have to... You know, this is the point I'll end on. A friend of mine, Opti Holm, that I had the Opti videos with, he, he, he says that there's a word in Swedish that quite doesn't exist in English, but it's like njuta. It's kind of like enjoy something or savor something. It's like, it's again, th these meals that I made so enjoyable, they weren't that enjoyable if I didn't make an effort to enjoy it instead of just like mm, 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 it's time to eat mm, 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 as fast as possible yeah it, it, right when i eat that short amount of time there's some kind of more rewarding uh, intense feeling but then it's over and i feel like i need more now but if i make an effort like mm, one piece at a time take my time with it mm, i'm so grateful that i even get to eat this food you know it's a way different experience and you don't sit there afterwards in the same like oh, but I, I feel like i need more Ah, that wasn't enough. Blah, blah, blah. So that's the main point. The other point, nice, the cloud came out, so I'm all dark. Maybe I can change that real quick. Yeah. Um, you can make these into separate videos, but you also, what you should have for these meals is like a very clear structure. I keep talking about that. Like my three meals there, they were plus minus an hour, almost always the same. Uh, and then, of course, if something is r different, I'm going to go meet some people or something, then that's an exception. But you have this to go for every time. So if you come up short or if you like that, you're weak will that day and you went to have some more, the next day you know what goes. No, at that time I eat this amount of food only. Uh, so that, that's another thing. You have to, because so many people, they wander kind of blindly uh, or they hop between things. All you really had to do is ha know what you're aiming for. And then, if you come up short, just try again, try again, try again. All right. Please leave a comment. What do you think about this? How's you, how, you, how, you're, how are you doing with your food addiction? Gee. Um, and like and comment anyway. All comments and likes help support the channel, so it's very much appreciated. I have a um, special coaching service here during summer before I reboot. It won't come back before I reboot my regular services. I think it's great value. So if you're interested, you can send me a DM on Instagram or email me and I'll let you know all the details, how it works. Please subscribe for more content about fitness, fasting, losing weight, building muscles, self-improvement, stoicism, mental health, philosophy, mindset. It is a mindset, guys. You don't have to be nice and full, like barely ever. Just learn, learn to enjoy eating a normal amount of food. All right, peace.